So I was stumbling upon YouTube where I came across this great channel, Adam Savage from Mythbusters, and he takes these kind of like Q&A questions for people who watch him and he answers them. And I stumbled upon this one called Quit Taking It Personally, and I just have to play it for you guys because I think it's so applicable to software and programming and everything like that. Do you have any tips for dealing with the aftermath of a job that went bad that you didn't have that much influence over? I worked on a project at a company as someone in a junior position that I predicted would go bad if approach A was chosen, but nobody listened to me. Approach A was chosen and my predictions came true. However, later at a performance review, I caught flack for the fact that the project flopped. Any tips, both practical and emotional, would be very appreciated. All right, so he goes on to give his advice. You know, he kind of goes in the direction that, I don't know, didn't really answer the question. But let me give you my take on this uh, question and why I think it's so applicable in tech because there's so many times where a junior engineer or a mid-level engineer or even a senior engineer gets put in a position where they are faced with a project and they see something that maybe everyone else doesn't. They see a flaw. They see a different pattern. It's going to save everyone's ass or, you know, time in the future. But no one's listening to them, whether or not they have credibility or whether they're rep or they're just new. No one listen to them and then you know lo and behold in the future they were absolutely correct they, they they were spot on if you guys like go in this kind of content make sure you click subscribe button it does help the channel a lot a lot of effort goes into these videos and it truly is the best way to support if you enjoy but let's get back to the video the reason why this particular video stood out to me is the quit taking the personally part i know a lot of people in tech and in programming take things so personally like as if it's offending them directly obviously we can talk about you know when you say something bad about a programming language that someone adores and built their whole personality around that they would just come after you because you know you offend rust and it's like you are attacking this person directly personally you've offended their honor their culture their family um when it's really it shouldn't be that serious and the same way uh in that example that that person asked is you know why didn't they listen to me i caught flack what could i have done the first thing i always say is don't be emotional right regardless of the situation regardless if you're 150 percent in the right and your manager's 200 percent the wrong never take it personally always think of it as business especially if you're working for someone whether you like it or not that's not the best position because you always have less say than your manager or your boss they will always have the final say and you have to kind of be aware of that when you put yourself in these positions when you choose to work for a company fang or not or whatever you're gonna have a boss you're gonna have a manager and you're gonna have to do what they say and so the approach and the advice i have is to kind of take it on the chin initially let it happen once or twice if it continues to happen, then you can explore options of, you know, maybe looking for a different job, think of a referral, whatever, but be very strategic, right? If that happens, ask your manager and take notes and take meeting notes and do whatever you have to, to avoid this happening next time. Let me give you an example. Let's say we're at uh, a position where there's an architecture review. I see something no one else does and I raise it and I get ignored. Well, what I would always do in a document type situation is I always, I never say things that's never recorded. Whether I send an email or a Slack message or take a screen screenshot of me even commenting on the document, right? If you're using Google Sheets, there's a feature where you can like comment on a snippet of code, give you concern there. And then, you know, if it goes unnoticed or unheard, then you can raise it. Be like, well, you know what? I did raise it here. Here's the evidence. There's a screenshot of it. What could I have done differently, right? What could I have done differently to make sure this was voiced correctly? And then you put your manager or your boss in a position where, A, they look at the fact that, wow, they actually did raise this. But then they would probably go back to the thing of, oh, they didn't do it correctly. They didn't, they didn't raise it correctly. What you've basically done is now give them the opportunity to teach you, right? What to do next time because you've already recorded it. So now it's like, okay, well, if that wasn't enough and the way I voiced it wasn't clear enough, what do I do next time? And so what you've basically done is your manager, your boss, whenever you do raise something or even a note, they'll actually put that extra 10% of attention because of this meeting, because you showed them they've recorded it and because you've actually showed them the validity of your reasoning to avoid the situation that basically caused everything to, you know, to blow up. And that extra 10% is going to go a long way because they will pay attention to it. They'll raise it. You know, if no one's listening to you, they'll be like, Hey, you guys stop for a second. Um, I think, you know, Melky raised something. I want to just clip with the room. Could someone answer this question? And maybe, you know, maybe next time your question is, you know, not as valid, right? Maybe you get answered the first time, but you build that muscle memory and you keep asking questions, you keep recording and keep really saving your ass at the end of the day, people will start recognizing the fact that you mean business and your concerns are valid. But you won't be able to do that if you think emotionally. If you only think emotionally when you go up into these types of scenarios where, oh, my manager didn't listen to me? What an asshole. Like, I'm going to like make sure I scream at the top of my lungs next time. Like, never do that because you you just look like a child, right? Especially in a, in a place of business, you never want that. Always act cool, always act professional, and always record your actions, especially if people don't believe that you are doing them or performing them in the first place. He said, 
the only thing you can do is resolve not to do that again. You can take a look into yourself and see the things that led to this and resolve to pay attention to that so that the next time the situation arises, it doesn't go the same way. And that's key. It doesn't go the same way. And again, if you've made a error, like a logical error, and you've caused the issue, right? You can look back and look, okay, I probably should have paid attention to the details. I probably should have reviewed this code more. You can actually have direct actions. But even if you don't mess up, even if you could have avoided it, but no one listened to you, you could avoid the fact that you went unheard of. That's the main point. You can literally also look and reflect and ask yourself, why didn't no one take me seriously? Why didn't no one listen to me, right? Why did I get get the flack at the end of the day because whether you like it or not and again this is where like the non-emotional come part comes in that don't take it personally it's you will be able to identify reasons of why some people listen to others and not you and if you can identify that and kind of mimic that behavior and avoid the same mistake you made the first time you will be in a far better place and this won't happen to you uh moving forward but let me know what you guys think do you agree with that advice has it ever happened to you have you ever had someone just not listen to the advice you're saying to for the justification of a design decision or a software decision let me know in the comments comment section down below. I appreciate you guys very much. So and like, as always, comment, like, and subscribe for more and boom, you gotta power it.